Insurance. Insurance uses probability and the law of large numbers to determine the cost of insurance premiums it charges its clients. These calculations are also based on various risk factors. Basically, the risk of an individual is spread out over the community. Insurance in some form dates back to prehistory. Agreements of mutual aid are one of the first examples. If one family's house gets destroyed, the neighbors are committed to helping rebuild it. Public granaries are another early form of insurance to protect the community against famines. First method of transferring or distributing risk in a monetary economy was practiced by Chinese and Babylonian traders in roughly the 3rd and 2nd millennia BC. Chinese merchants traveling treacherous river rapids would redistribute their wares across many vessels to limit the loss due to any single vessel capsizing. The Babylonians developed a system that was recorded in the famous Code of Hammurabi in 1750 BC, in practice by early Mediterranean sailing merchants. If a merchant received a loan to fund his shipment, he would pay the lender an additional sum in exchange for the lender's guarantee to cancel the loan should the shipment be lost or stolen. The concept of insuring outside native countries emerged in the 17th century. Lloyd's Coffee House was the prominent marine insurance marketplace in London during the 18th century, and European and American traders used this marketplace to insure their shipments. Insurance became more sophisticated in the Enlightenment era in Europe, and specialized varieties of insurance developed. Currently, there are eight main specialized types of insurance. Health, car, life, homeowners, umbrella, renters, travel, and pet insurance. We will be looking more into these specialized types of insurance in future videos, so subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when they come out. Have a blissful day, and see you in the next video.